everyone, welcome to the Basement Brothers. We're happy to be here with you tonight. Well, it's really interesting. Happy val- happy early Valentine's Day. Something interesting. By I one noticed. day. It says we have zero viewers, but we have someone active in chat. That there's something wrong with my stream elements, OBS. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, it'll it'll catch up. It'll get there. <laughs> Joe, do you want to? Uh, I have a special green screen for you today. A oh special boy. image just for you, custom made. Oh boy. Oh jeez, I'm sorry. I th- if it's what I'm thinking of, you I just think I saw you editing it while I was. Did you? Did you see it? Stuff. I think I did. Well, this is my happy Valentine's Day to you, bro. Ready? You ready for this? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I definitely saw you working on this. Oh, you added the manatee too. I didn't even notice that part. Uh, come on, Joe, give us some dance moves. Sing to the manatee. Barbara, <laughs> manatee. <laughs> Classic. Classic, bro. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Oh, we're off to an interesting start, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, welcome to the totally stream. This is totally gonna appear in like a memes chat somewhere. This will probably be like one of the first things posted on our subreddit. <laughs> so we'll probably oh, just take a screenshot man. of this. Yes. How is the subreddit going, Joe? You've been working on it. No that? one's posted anything. I did. You put I, our banner. Up? I forgot to put the banner on it. I'll be honest. I'm sorry. Shame, it's still just blind. Shame. We got a nice banner too, and you just yeah, you I don't know. even I put need, it in there. I need to do that. I I hope that the one from YouTube is the right size. Like, I hope that's the same as the one. It should for be the same. I would guess they it should be. be. Um, we'll see. But yes, so today we are going to be talking about uh, romantic movies. Uh, no, I, no. We were going to talk about um, <laughs> the whole title of it was "Romantic Expression: A Dive into uh, Romantic Films" is what it was going to be. But then I'm like, well, Joe and I really don't know romantic films that well, and it's probably better for us to just kind of talk about the ones that we know and share what I've learned as far as what goes into one. So, well, uh, yeah. If that does that is that a better approach, Joe? Is yeah, that, <laughs> that works. Um, if you missed any episodes, go ahead and check out the YouTube channel. I've been uploading them over there. Uh, we've actually been really consistent with getting out uh, different clips as well as the full episodes and our Minecraft series, which now has two episodes. One of them was up- uploaded today, so be sure to go over there, check those out. Uh, Joe put some hard work into into editing those out, and they're looking pretty good. They're looking yeah. pretty good, hey. brother. I had a friend come up to me during musical practice today. I was like, hey, look at this. And I was like, what? And then he pointed out his face. I was like, wait, what? They're live? And it's like, no, I don't. And he's like, I realized, oh, it's the Minecraft episode. That makes more sense. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, definitely go check out those episodes. Uh, I, I've enjoyed just watching watching you grow as an editor, too. Because your first edits, I remember way back, were, were a little rough. A little rough around the edges. But you're doing great. You're, you're getting the hang of it. I just wanted to include everything. Yeah, he, I was he like, really just James, wanted to I don't know what it got out. I still have 40 minutes. It's like, is this important to the story or not? No, it's not. Cut it. <laughs> it's not, not, not worth it. So, uh, yeah, so today we're talking about romantic movies. Romantic But movies. before that, let's get some random facts. Oh, boy. What do you got for us today, Joe? So, the line, one of the most uh, famous lines in the movie Titanic Mm-hmm. The I'm the king of the world, I believe, is the line. Okay. Like yeah, from the front of the boat. Yeah. Have you seen Titanic? No, I actually haven't. Shame. Anyway, so yeah. That line was actually improvised. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it wasn't part of the actual script. Huh. That is pretty interesting. That is an interesting random fact. Yep. That's like a bonus. A bonus <laughs> fact. <laughs> bonus. Is that like bonus meme? Bonus. Bonus meme. Except no, we don't, have, we don't have memes right Except now. It's not Sorry. Dead. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for that random fact. Let's go. Let's go right into our topic of the day. Ooh, I'll have to bring that up when I come over this weekend. What? The fact that he doesn't. He hasn't seen Titanic. Or you're gonna bring Titanic? You're gonna bring the Titanic. Bring the whole <laughs> bring, Titanic. Bring the whole Titanic. I think we'll just smash our house. <laughs> huh. Okay. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to really dive into with this topic is. Uh, what is considered a romantic movie? Uh, so we also have different subgenres within the title of romantic movie. Uh, as you can imagine, romantic movies include. Guess guess what they include, Joe? Oh, James, a chick flick. No, no. What what do? Oh, what love. do romantic? Well, love, yes, but yeah. what else? 
Romantic uh, movies include romance. Hey, there you go. They include romance. Uh, but then these subgenres that we have are really what define each an individual movie, and some of them can have more than one subgenre too. Is what yeah. I was finding. Uh, so, Joe, do you want to tell us what the first one is? Oh, I already mentioned it. Once. Yeah, you mentioned it. Uh, chick flicks. Hmm. Yes. The one of the most the they're you this term is used most for romantic movies and they're, they're stereotypical. Yeah, I love you. I, I don't know how to describe a chick flick. I mean, so this is actually a term that uh, it was more or less crafted by society. It wasn't really a basically because a lot of romantic films are marketed toward females. They got kind of branded as the chick flick genre uh, or sub subgenre is what it is. So. It's more or less a thing of society, not not something that was, but it is actually a defined term. So so it, it became a defined term once it was more in use. Uh, so uh, this was basically due to the assumption that only females watched these films. Is is what the assumption was. Yep. I mean, your favorite type of movie, Braden? Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the next one we have on the list is historical romance. This would be, like Joe was bringing up earlier, the Titanic. Come that on, is... Jack. Yes. Jack Jack and Rose. I have a funny story to tell about this. Oh, yeah? So, um, we had, like, a... Our school does, like, a lip sync contest between the four different classes, like, every, every year for Fire and Ice Dance for the assembly. Mm-hmm. Well... The so- and it's always de- separated by decades. So one class gets the 70s, one class gets the 80s, one class gets the 90s, one class gets the 2000s. Well, my class was assigned the 90s, and they actually picked the song Titanic. <laughs> and they had, a, like, a bunch of the people, like, stood around forming, like, the hull of the boat. And then they had two guys. One guy stood and was the, supposed to be Rose, and the other guy was Jack <laughs> during it. it was Wait, fun. so was that that was their, like their costume? That, no, it was like the way they posed. They switched between oh, songs like a okay. bunch of different times. Okay. But there was a part of it where they were doing Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty fun. Jeez. Yeah. But yes, historical uh, historical romances take place within a certain time period, is mm-hmm. what defines a historical romance uh joe what's the next one there romantic dramas romantic dramas i i mean yeah this is kind of what i kind of think of like well you know your stereotype like your regular drama it's Mm -hmm. like that but with romance (laughs) i i very very good definition i I remember when we were going through like this stuff Mm -hmm. like they said a very good example of this is casablanca Mm-hmm. Which I've never seen that movie. I so. haven't seen it either. But apparently, that's a good example of a romantic drama. That's like what every website <laughs> said for romantic drama. <laughs> yeah. So it revolves around an obstacle that prevents two people from being together. But usually, like Joe said, a very dramatic, drawn out obstacle. I mean, so by very that, obvious. Then couldn't Titanic be kind of a romantic drama? Yeah. That's what I said. You can, like, a lot of these it movies can apply to have, have multiple subgenres. But the main subgenre of Titanic would be historical romance. Yes. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> Club Penguin. Everybody Yikes. in my school is upset. Like, They're playing Club Penguin? Like, you know how old that it game It came is? back. It, it actually like got shut down for a while and everyone was disappointed. It came back? But they relaunched like a, few, like a week ago-ish. Hey, I know this is a side tangent, but did you hear about the whole PewDiePie getting banned from Roblox? No, I did not hear about that. <laughs> so apparently, Roblox decided to just ban anything PewDiePie, like anything with his name in it. So one of their one of the users actually just said "Hi PewDiePie" when he was playing on Roblox, and he and that player got banned because he said "Hi" to PewDiePie. Like it's crazy. And basically, I think what was it? They said that because he's oh, he promoted channels that had like bad messages or something like that. So it's My crazy. Goodness. Hey, Biggie. That has to be some. But yeah, I know that's a complete tangent, but I just thought it, it was really interesting that, and and of all of all games too, Roblox, like the most open <laughs> open source, like no one cares what you do on it kind of game, and yeah. PewDiePie's thing gets banned from it. Well, it's like, Ugh. um, 
I actually had someone today say that they thought today was going to be the last day for PewDiePie. Dude, it was getting close. Uh, man, we're really on a and tangent was, now. Yeah, we are. But, but I, yeah. I was just like, dude, people, somebody's going to make a push and it's going to be separated again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty sure Jacksepticeye came in oh. with another stream or something. I called it out for, I'm going to say oh. I told you so to that guy. Later. Yeah, because I think last time I checked, the gap went from like 20,000. It was close to then like 60 today. Here, let me check. Hey, yeah, you can you bring it up. Doing. Yeah, so while while Joe's looking that up, because <laughs> that's not even really a part of the topic. Uh, yeah, I was talking about Roblox. Jeez, Biggie. All right. He's almost 100K ahead again. Almost 100 again? Yep. Holy smokes. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, romantic dramas, another defining thing in those is that they often end in uncertainty. So you know how, how a lot of uh, romantic movies end with like a the... The couple happy getting back together, after. happy ending, right? Except for Titanic. Well, see, and that's where it almost fits in this one too, because it's kind of <laughs> uncertain. You're like, oh, well, this kind of sucks. This, <laughs> you know, it's it's dramatic. Uh, yeah. So yeah, usually the romantic dramas end in more uncertainty than, say, like our next jo- subgenre, romantic Rom-coms. comedies. These Rom-coms. are the ones that I've seen the most of. Have you? Have yes. you asked me like what types of movies I've seen like for romantic? Yeah. Rom coms by far were like the number one most five watched. Yeah, I asked Joe to brainstorm, you know, like what romantic movies have you seen? As you can imagine, our list is very short. <laughs> but uh of the ones we've seen, a lot of them have been uh romantic comedies for sure. Yeah. What defines a romantic comedy, Joe? Well, um they are lighthearted. Like they're not like depressing movies, like a romantic drama. I mean Romantic dramas, they're not always depressing, but like... No, but they can end in uncertainty, yes, like we they said. Yes, they end in uncertainty. <laughs> Rom-coms, they're very lighthearted. They're, very, they're just fun to watch, and they have that romantic um, part of it. And and they're you generally humorous in nature, obviously, with the name Rom-com, like the comedy part. Right. Um, and, uh, yeah. They're, they're funny. <laughs> Well, and typically, <clears throat> another note I have there is typically they're uh, centered on ideals such as true love can overcome all obstacles. Uh, and humor is usually centered around more of the verbal communication, often the, often not, <laughs> sorry, often it is not around situational, it is around verbal communication and- that the, wait, I'm saying this wrong. Sorry, often it is not around physical humor because physical humor like we're talking three stooges it's not usually around physical humor it's more centered around situational and verbal communication mm. that's what i was trying to say yeah i know what you mean <laughs> did I you just it, say twilight yeah, biggie twilight's oh my a goodness. romantic drama I cla- or that, romantic fantasy uh yeah that, that, i think Which that would our be our next one well Great yes. transition. <laughs> romantic fantasy slash romantic drama i would say it's close to both of those yeah. I would say, now, it, it, like, ev- they probably are very even in those. Every Hallmark movie, though? Aren't those more Johnny Chick flicks, Hallmark? So, yes. Hallmark movies, I would probably define as most of them being chick flicks. Not rom-coms. That, that's what I would define most Hallmark movies as. Except for Grumpy Cat's Christmas. All right. That one that was, was Lifetime, a serious... Oh, that was Lifetime? Okay. Yeah. Good. Because, you know... <laughs> Grumpy Grump- Cat's worst Christmas ever. Grumpy Cat. Over there. Pretty sweet. That cat's great. Go tartar sauce. Woo! I just realized that entire thing has... You have three cats on that tiny desk. I do. And they're all, like, fairly famous cats, too. Yeah. We got Bongo Cat, and then we got Keyboard Cat and Grumpy Cat. The three three cats. Hey, Tully, how's it going? Do you feel romantic towards any of the cats, James? <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, move it, move it on, Joe. Jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, All right. Well, we got <laughs> romantic fantasy, which is set in a fantasy world. All right. So something like uh, what would be Twilight. a example? Twilight's a good example. What's another one though? I'm trying to think of another good example of a romantic that fantasy. TV show oh, Mom's uh, been Princess. Watching. No, Princess Bride. Oh, Princess Bride. That's that's, also a that's in a fantasy though. world. Yeah, Princess Bride so, is a good example. Yep, yeah, that's a very good example. Um, that TV show Mom's been watching recently called The Vampire oh, Diaries. Vampire, yeah. <laughs> but that's also a drama. That's a drama one. So Outlander. 
I don't I don't know that one. Outlander. I don't know Out, Outlander. Let me Google it. I I believe you, Miss Tully. Like like we said earlier, and I don't think you're here for this, Tully. Our list of romantic movies that oh, we've seen is yeah, like this, is this a... big. We, oh, we don't know. Didn't you watch them. one with like? I what? remember, or you and mom watched like something with like that. I, oh, like, uh, so that was an a... ancient time or medieval. I don't know what it was called. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of a different movie. I it was a TV series. I was thinking uh, La La Land is kind of a. Oh. It's a romantic movie, but it's also a musical. So it's like a romantic musical. That yeah. was a good movie, though. Would that be a drama? I don't know what that would be. I, I never saw it, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Cause like, I don't know if that's drama. Yeah, that's probably a drama. But it's you've got mail. Yeah. I yeah, saw that I would say that. it's it's a drama. You've seen you got you've got mail. No, but I've like I've heard of it. I'll say I don't know that one either. Jeez, Tully, you you know all of these, man. <laughs> we should have had you uh, guest star on the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, next type of romantic movie is romantic action. Action. No, not that kind not of action. Ca- James! <laughs> and you got over me for the cat joke? <laughs> All right. Not that kind of action. We're talking movie action. Uh, so, fighting and shooting and more fighting. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, You should have. Yeah, exactly. With you and Mrs. Tully. Uh, <laughs> That rom- that romantic action is something like uh, the only one that I can think of is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I know that one because that's that's one I've seen. Can, can you think of any other ones, Joe? Let me Google them. I'll say I can't think of any other ones uh, off the cuff here. Uh, while he's looking that up, another one that's similar to romantic action is romantic thriller. So this is, once again, just a blend of romance and a thriller genre. Mr. and Mrs. Smith is the first one that comes up, but after that, there's Adrift. Don't know that one either. Alita, Battle Angel, Night and Day, which nope. is spelled with a K, like K-N-I-G-T. Oh, okay. Apparently, The Host. I don't think of that as a romantic movie. No, I don't either. So yeah, that but that that yeah. basically covers all of the subgenres. Once again, just to go through the list, we got chick flick, historical romance, romantic dramas, romantic comedies, aka rom coms, romantic fantasy, romantic action, and romantic thrillers. Those are all the different subgenres we could find. Uh, if you know of one that we didn't mention, well, I actually thought of one <laughs> just that let us know. wasn't on your list, but romantic sci-fi, like placed in the future. That, I, I have an example of wouldn't that. that fit, wouldn't that fit kind of under fantasy, though? Because it's a fantasy world. I guess, but it's But I guess sci fi is its thing. own. Sci fi is considered its own thing, so that's why I thought. But so, yeah, I guess, I guess it now. could fit under romantic sci fi. It could be another subcategory. So. Um, yeah. I looked into a bit of how to actually write because I have a lot of interest in film and actually trying to achieve some writing myself. As I start to break into more short films this year, hoping to get into that in this next month here. I'm trying to finish up my current vlog, which is kind of a a short film in itself. (laughs) Uh, I got to show you it after this, Joe. It's looking pretty good. Oh, boy. Uh, But as I dive into more of that, something that's really important in presenting a film or a new project is having a good script. How to write it correctly. Uh, And so I decided to kind of dive into the writing of a romantic movie. And the basics that every romantic film needs to have is this. Boy meets girl. Boy loses girl. Boy gets girl back. Those are the three things that you need to have. Do most of them go in order, in that order? Boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl back. Is that the order that they go in? I think you can... uh, Typically, that is the order, yes. Okay, because I have an example on mine that doesn't really fit that. What one? Me. What one doesn't fit that? Um, when we first met. When we first met. I don't think you've seen it actually. I'll say I don't think I've seen you've that. You've seen one. parts of it because I actually discovered it with you. Okay. We walked in on mom and dad watching it. And. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember <laughs> ha- like seeing them watch that one. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see it all though. I actually later looked it up and watched the rest of it because yeah. I was interested by it. But yeah. So what's the order of that one then? Well, okay, so you don't really have when he meets her, or I guess it's he loses her, and then he goes back in time to meet her again, and then. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. 
Well, so, but like, I mean, it's yeah. still following. It's still gonna follow that basic. Though. And then I don't want to say how it ends. Right, in case right. Anyone wants to watch it, so but, I can't. So you're saying it starts with boy loses girl. Yeah. And then boy meets girl, <laughs> which is weird. Yeah. And then gets girl back through meeting them again. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, <laughs> so yes, it did break the format. However. You're also dealing with time travel. So Yeah, it's a time travel movie, that so that's why... <laughs> you're kind of breaking the mold already. Yeah. Anyway, it needs to have those elements. And technically, he met her before that he lost her, yes, just wasn't in true. the film. And you you probably yeah. had that context, right? Well, yeah, you could assume that. So there, there you go. There you go. So it still follows that format. Boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl back. Um... Typically, romantic movies cover a certain theme. Uh, so these themes can be something like love at first sight, forbidden love, uh, platonic love, sacrificial love, tragic love, etc. It can follow any of those themes, plus whatever other themes you have uh, in love. But those themes typically surround love. So Outlander has time travel, similar concept. Hmm, interesting. Huh. Maybe we need to go watch Outlander, Joe. Outlander. <laughs> movie night. <laughs> That's an odd movie night. <laughs> I don't know. I have a lot of homework to do after this show. So yeah, I gotta edit. A uh, couple common mistakes when writing romance is having a bigger plot than just the romance. So like, you want to have something other than just the romance. Very few movies can actually pull this off and still be good. So, like, yes, you want to have the romance, but you should have something else that can be, um, like, driving the story forward, uh -huh. if that makes sense. Some bigger plot other than the romance itself. But there are movies, there are exceptions to that, and, and I'll actually talk about that in a second. Uh, but another thing to remember to have is high stakes. You want to have your audience invested. Uh, so if you don't have anything that's, like, important to the audience involved... It's not going to matter because you're going to lose them after the first 10 minutes or so. It's it's you got to have them invested in um, whatever the conflict is, right? Or whatever the theme is. That's why you cover a theme is because uh, you know we we want to believe in love at first sight. We want to um, see someone have such great love that it's it's sacrificial. You know that's why you focus on those themes. Yeah. Okay. I guess I won't be watching. Oh it. darn it. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Well, Tully. Joe has to wait. Yeah. I can watch it, though. <laughs> oh, brother. Uh, and then the last common mistake that I have listed here is avoid cliches. Well, when you have too many cliches. Um, I think this is a general thing is avoid cliches, right? However, I think that with some romantic movies, it can be pulled off. Because then they yes. get thrown into that subcategory of chick flick. Well, see, but here's, the here's the deal, right? You need to... The audience expects a romantic movie when they go in to see your film, right? Because you've advertised it as such. So, with romantic movies comes certain cliches, right? So, there's this there's this, like this balance of do you use a cliche or do you, do you not? And and most of the, more often than not, you don't want to use cliches. But what you want to do is use a cliche but flip it on its head. So use use it, but use it in a new way. Because uh, yeah. audiences want to see something new. They don't want to see something that they've seen before. Um, so they expect they expect certain things from romance films, which are those cliches. But what the tricky part is, is finding a way to fit that into your puzzle, aka your story. You know, trying to find a way to fit that in that doesn't seem like regurgitated or reused. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a movie in theaters now that makes fun of romantic comedies and the cl and the cliche. Yeah. What I don't know what that one is, but th I mean, there's a a prime example right there probably of a movie taking cliches and, and flipping, them flipping them on their head and using them in a completely different way. And that goes for more than just romantic movies. That's it's really any. <laughs> any any type of movie if you're doing an action movie and you use a cliche that's typically in an action series like it's just ugh, people if you use them wrong or if you use them in a in a typical way it'll just ruin your movie the romantic are you looking it up joe yeah 
throw man um the romantic what do you got um it's not nothing's coming up for the romantic let's have a the romantics is a thing but this doesn't look like something new <laughs> um that's a rock band so oh yeah that's that's not it 1977 that it. i don't think that's right <laughs> all right so a couple of movies that i've seen this is this is my list of what i came up with yesterday i think i thought about this and then i want to cover one of them more in depth because i actually watched have you heard of the guy um or the channel lessons from the screenplay no i follow him surprise <laughs> uh but he actually did a breakdown of the script of this movie um but here's here's my list of what i've watched and then i'll tell you the type of each one so princess bride obviously romantic comedy uh but also uh fantasy romantic fantasy too uh titanic historical romance uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, romantic action, also very funny. Um, so it could almost be humor, like rom-com, kind of. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's more action. Uh, Fifty First Dates, that's it's definitely a comedy. Oh yes. <laughs> and then Man. the last one that I wanted to talk about was When Harry Met Sally. Honestly, when I first saw this film, so this is also that the the one that I was talking about earlier, where it doesn't have a bigger plot than just the romance. It relies strictly on the romance between uh, Harry and Sally and and their relationship. It doesn't take in any other plot lines, but it uses that to drive the story, which is really difficult to do. Um, and it also takes your typical, your cliche of, um, you know, boy meets girl, boy loses girl, where instead of them meeting and then beginning that relationship and... and uh, developing it through the story they meet and then they separate and then again they meet like five years later again and then they separate so like you're breaking that cliche that you know typically you have the characters meet each other and then they stay in contact the rest of the movie this breaks that cliche by separating them for years apart and then bringing them back together it was really interesting how and, and well done um, and honestly I think it was I would say it's one of my favorite romantic films but I haven't seen that many so take hmm, yeah hmm, take that into account uh but joe what's what's on your list over there oh well um obviously i already mentioned them earlier uh, and by the way a lot of the or a few of the ones that you mentioned you took mine um <laughs> princess bride and 50 first dates i have seen love yeah. them both um but then yeah i already mentioned when we first met um one and then two that I have on here that are kind of stretches are um, one of them is Mr. Deeds, another Adam Sandler uh, movie. There's a ro there's I remember that one. There's a different plot line, but there is like some romance in the like there is romance as a part of it, but mm -hmm. there is a different plot line along with it. It's about the money and the um that's the one with the guy with the black foot that can't feel anything. No, I like I just yeah. can't remember I can't remember oh. it that well. So. Okay, um and then the other stretch one that I have in here is Wally. I mean, yeah. It kind it, of is a romance it, between the it two is. robots. It's a, it's a romance. I would say it's a romance. It's a yeah. romance, yeah. We'll go with that. That's a good one, though. I, I like that movie. I love Wally. Wally. It's a great... Wally. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's something wrong with us, bro. Yeah. Um, All right. And then also on here, I have The Time Traveler's Wife. I didn't get to see the ending of that one, though, because I fell asleep. <laughs> I was watching our South Dakota when we went out to South Dakota on vacation and it was a late night and I just kind of turned it on well turned on the TV while I was falling asleep and I watched like maybe half to three quarters of it. that was pretty good from what I saw but I didn't get to see the ending so um, <laughs> you put down bits and pieces of chick flicks and then seen? yeah because I walk in on mom watching them and then I'll, you know, I'll just sit down <laughs> because I'm tired from a long or from a long day at school or something yeah and I'll just sit down and I'll be around while they're running and I'll watch like maybe 30 minutes to 45 of them so yeah bits and pieces of various chick flicks like a a christmas prince just that one was like your entire stereotype for a chick flick to all the boys i've loved before also a stereotypical chick flick <laughs> um this one's not really a chick flick but i put it on here because i only saw part of it pretty woman ever heard of that one mm. i saw parts of it with mom and dad and time it's, I think I've heard of it. I just it's seen kind it. of a Cinderella story, but with like business. You know, what? I just thought of another one too. What that we've both seen? I well, I think this is one. Does uh, Miss Congeniality count? Is that romance? K 
kind of. It's kind of a romantic action when I don't you think about it. Any romance in it though? The like the main character and the agent. Oh, that's right. And yeah. they like they kiss in the end. You have the the that's grand right. kiss at the that's end. That's right. I remember that now. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think no, that was. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. So. Yeah, it's a it's a good one. It is. Yeah. And then yeah, the last one that I saw parts of was a Cinderella story. Also, your stereotype for a chick flick. Mom, <laughs> I walk into mom watching chick flicks quite often. No, yeah. Nothing bad against mom, but it's just what she likes. <laughs> nothing so. bad. <laughs> she just likes them, and I walk in on them yes, occasionally. Yes, yes. All right. And then I lay down tired, and I happen to see part of them. <laughs> well, Joe, thank you for sharing your list. It was interesting to get a little insight into what you've seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, with that... I think that kind of wraps up romantic oh. movies. We're glad that you came on this journey with us. Oh, yes. <laughs> you were about to say something? Oh, um, I was just going to say most of those ones that I mentioned, like not the last few ones that I mentioned, the mm -hmm. ones that I said I only saw part of it, but the other ones that I saw were pretty good. I would recommend them. <laughs> the When we first met, especially, that one was on Netflix, and it's just on there, so... Just yeah. on there, so go watch it. Go, go watch it. Go, yeah, go take it. It's gander. pretty interesting. I, I didn't. Yeah, I don't know how to. Why isn't it. Bohemian Rhapsody on your list? Well, because I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. And it's actually pretty new, and I didn't know it was a romantic movie. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's why it's not on my list. <laughs> Same. All right. Well, it is time for us to move along to. The 50 Cent Feature! Who's ready for this 50 Cent Feature? We are. We actually followed a, a very good theme today. That The whole Valentine's Day really actually worked. We should have changed our lighting to like red too. Dang. We messed up on that one. Alright, 50 oh Cent Feature today is Love in Drawing. Love in Drawing. Love in Drawing. Wait, they're orange and blue, our colors, James. <laughs> they are orange and blue. You're right. <laughs> oh, was man. That, did you notice that earlier? No, I didn't. I thought it was blue and red. But it does. It looks orange, doesn't it? That's weird. Why didn't they do... Uh, whatever. <laughs> All right, so... Why reflect it... and draw. Love and Drawing is a game that aims to make you reflect and solve levels where you need to is, gather red and blue balls. The trailer is showing us the solution to all the answers. <laughs> no, they are, it is red and blue. It does look orange though, doesn't it? It looks orange. It says red and blue though. Well, let's do this, bro. Yeah. I Well, let's look at the comments real quick. Or the... Wait, what are the... Overall reviews are very positive. So it's it's got some good reviews already. This already looks like a lot of mobile games I've seen, though. This so. is an absolutely terrible port. Ah, I bet you it is a mobile game. This game itself is great, but even on a higher or gaming, higher end gaming PC, it is absolutely grinds to a halt. What? So does, what? Does, it didn't work. Wow. Okay. A hundred levels. <laughs> Hey, let's just do this. Let's yeah, do this. let's just go for it. No, I just saw it. <laughs> uh, Auto mod stopped crazy from sending a message because he said that looks like love balls on mobile. <laughs> and Kren, the, the auto mod stopped it. <laughs> uh, oh man. Okay. Well, let's. Uh... <laughs> Let's, let's give love and drawing a try here shall we <laughs> oh man what's our notification hey ryan matter of choice thank you for the follow i appreciate it follow nice uh we're gonna do why not 4k bro because we're not on that monitor. oh you're right this one only goes to 720p i believe yours does but yeah. th this one doesn't okay uh right oh wait no i wanted the left one there we go Wait, this is 19, I don't understand. Oh my word, okay. I guess we're gonna have it in window mode like that. Dun, 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 dun. The music's interesting, that's for sure. I like the music. Wait, it's Knick Knack Patty Wack or it is. 
radioactive <laughs> dog a bone, the snowman <laughs> came rolling home. <laughs> do you know All right. that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> let's uh, let's look at the settings. We have sound and music. Those are the only options. Can we please turn music off? It's getting very annoying. No, we gotta listen to the music. Okay, let's go. Get the balls together, bro. All right, so uh, they need to conjoin. I'm assuming. Yes, we did oh, it. Yes, All right, kiss. next level. Oh, oh, I didn't think about that. I say, bro. Reset. Maybe like make a lot. No, start at the bottom. Go up and down. Oh yes, I see. <laughs> Boom! Look at that. We're pros, man. Well, this is interesting. I saw this one. You just da, 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 boom. I don't know if that's gonna be big enough. It it's good. It's good. It's gonna make it easy, dude. We're rocking. Oh, I saw this wasn't one on this thing just too. like? Oh, it stopped me. Okay. Because you hit the ball. Oops. Nope, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nope. There we go. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. You need to create anything to catch it. There we go. Look at that. We did it. Nice one. Well, this is uh, this is pretty basic, isn't it? That's not gonna hit the ball right. Oh yeah, it will. Sure, it will, bro. Flee! <laughs> Oops. I mean, that works. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to do, but it oh, worked. Brother. All right. Well, I think we get the idea. Uh, what? Oh, I see. Because I can keep drawing afterwards. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. No, 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 uh -oh. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got. Why don't you draw the ramp first and then draw the rock? Oh, that's a good point. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna ramp first. Oops. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> this doesn't look like that hard of a task. <laughs> Joe, I'm gonna get it. Hold on. I believe this one was actually on the trailer because I remember seeing it. Don't judge, all right. <laughs> all right, that should work, right? You might be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. This is basically Hello Stars. I don't know what Hello Stars is. There are a lot of mobile games like this. I've seen them in plentiful amounts. Oh, oh that's really good. Now don't mess up the rock. Oh my gosh, did I really? There Wait. we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, Yeet. all right. Yeet is right, bro. All right, Joe, give this thing a comprehensive review, will ya? Well, it's very basic. Can I move this one? Yeah, you can. Boom. Very basic. It's very basic, got very basic color scheme, very basic, um, like, textures. Like, the music is driving me up a wall. Uh-oh. Like, uh -oh. it seems way too easy. We've already finished nine levels, and we're like... like <laughs> it seems starting. way too easy, and then I mess up. Well, that's because you're you. Because <laughs> you're you? Excuse me? <laughs> oh, man. Dude, matter of choice. We already went through that. Jeez, man. You missed it. All in all, I think it gets... <laughs> and it's also oh, very similar to many, many, many mobile games. I've seen like ah! thousands of mobile games like this. So like, all in all, considering all those things... So I you're taking say... away the originality of it? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 no. Oh! That worked. All in all, I think I'm going to give it a three. Ooh, only a three? I'm going to be a little harsh on this one. That, that is harsh. Like, this right. seems like something I could code in Scratch. That is fair. That is a fair assessment, actually. You're right. <laughs> I think this will work if I do... That's not what I wanted to do. 
<laughs> think this will work and then he just messes up oh geez that's Oops. Oh boy. You make a bigger one. <laughs> make a bigger one. <laughs> oh, now we can just take this one. There we go. Dude, yeah, what are the hearts all, for? I gave it a three. I think they're lives, so like if they go off the screen or something. I mean, I'm having fun. Would I would I get the thing is would I get my 30 minutes out of it? Uh doubtful. Oh jeez. Oh, no, oh, no. That is not going to well, maybe it will cuz you can push them both in. Oh my word. I'm so bad at this. Jeez. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh man, it gets super difficult. I mean, how would you know? Have you played it? Oh my gosh. Oh my word, can I? All right, you know what, I'm done. I'm giving this a review. Dude, I am thinking way too hard to play this game. What if I, what if I'm, oh, I bet you I know what I'm, like if I just do, oops, not, not that, gosh dang, if I just do, darn it, you know what, forget it, I'm done. Exit out of it. Just Dude, I've played it. Portal 2, alright, it's a great game, this, this one, however, uh, needs to go away, uh, I'm gonna get, you gave it a 3? I gave it a 3. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 4. I think it's four worthy. So that's a seven. It's a seven. That means it's not recommended, not right? Not recommended. It's right because we said eight to eight ten. To, is buy at your own risk. Buy at your yeah. So this is a not recommended game from the basement brothers. It is a seven out of twenty. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't recommend buying this game. The only I think that's our second lowest scoring game so far. The only one that scored lower than it is Conan the Mighty Pig. Then play. Oh yeah, Conan the Mighty Pig was bad. That was really bad. Just make a bowl in the middle. Oh, Mark, you're so smart. I should. <laughs> oh, I thought that's what you were trying to do, James. No. At the end. No, I didn't know what I was doing, Mark. You just need to buy the game, and then you can. Anyway, Dude, I beat Portal Two. All right. Play Portal Stories. What? Oh, with you. Oh, I. I. Uh, I already did with Joe. Portal Stories? Yeah, the multiplayer, right? I don't think that's Portal Stories. I don't know. No, I like Portal 2, though. So, yeah, this this game, though, is, is trash. No? Portal Stories? It's a fan-made campaign? What? Mm. Oh, it's probably I thought Steam you workshop. mistyped. I thought you mistyped, all right? Relax. It's probably on the Steam Workshop. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that's been your uh, your fifty cent feature, and now it's time to move along to the next segment. Joe, what's the next segment? The Reddit reviews. The Reddit reviews of the week. Yep. Brought now, to you by Joe. Okay. So, what's this? this what's this subreddit? This subreddit Joe? is really interesting. It was sent to me by one of our viewers that I believe is actually watching right now. Um, oh, really? Because he was watching earlier. Um, Big E. Um, Big E recommended this subreddit? He sent me this. I don't know if he actually wanted me to use it for subreddit, but anyways, <laughs> it's called Fake Bees Real Top Hats. And that's literally what it is. That's that's what it's called? Or no, Real Bees Fake Top Hats. Different. Um, but yeah. <laughs> and um, I, I didn't okay. even think about this. But... Yeah. It kind of applies to this week's because, well, there are birds, James. <laughs> and then there's the birds and the bees. I see where you're getting, Joe. I, I didn't plan that out earlier. It just happened to work out, I guess. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> well, let's start off. Uh, Reddit reviews. So how these work are Joe picks uh, five different posts from a certain subreddit from the week and we rank them or he ranks them i guess because this is your reddit review he ranks them from one to five they're not one to five here but we'll put them in order on the tabs up there mm-hmm. so. now these ones since they're not really funny posts they're just bees wearing hats i think we'll just grade them off of how much we yeah, like biggie's pretty we like, happy with we like right the now. image he's happy with <laughs> he's, me using the bees. he's like yeah by the way joe cannot see chat right now uh yeah I can't. my monitor wouldn't i couldn't get the right monitor but whatever we'll we'll fix it later um so we're gonna rate it on how good the bees look with their hats is this a real thing it's a real subreddit I, he like sent it to me and i was like this is something real okay and yeah i i looked into it it has like 300 some thousand subs well so. i guess the uh let's just jump right into the first one here we got chain chain i get rid of that i don't want it to plug in all right See, real bees, it's, fake top hat. Oh, I see. Okay. It's like a chain of bees. Wow, that's that's something. That's... Yep. I'm just not even sure what to think of this image. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I'm just confused right now. This is a real real bees, fake Oh, 21,000. I was off. Still. Oh, what? <laughs> I mean... Why? I guess that's the question that comes to mind is, is why? Why is this a thing? Dude, there are so many weird subreddits. All right. Well, that's that's number one right now. <laughs> they look like they're uh, they're the really dude. on top of it. Jeez. All right. Well. The birds. 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 Help the but fake wait, bird. I thought... Weren't the bees supposed to be wearing fake top hats? They're wearing the birds are wearing fake fedoras. The bees in the image are wearing fake top hats. If you zoom in. Oh, fake fedora! Sorry, I gotta zoom in on this. Help! The fake fedora birds are eating the fake top hat bees. Oh my goodness, it's so small and it's so pixelated. This one is junk. <laughs> All right, where do you want to put this one? <laughs> number two, right now. <laughs> yeah, number but two for this sure. This one also sets up the next one. That's the best subreddit you've ever seen. Really. Really, Braden? This is the best subreddit you've ever seen? I can think of so many other better subreddits <laughs> than Real Bees. Than Real Bees fake, fake top, top hats. hats. Wow. The, but okay. that one sets well, up this one. What, the bird solution? Yep. I fixed the fake fedora bird problem. <laughs> With a lion. <laughs> you know what is that again what is this called oh what is that called a beanie is that no it's no some type of french hat no it's a beanie french is a hat. yeah beanie's a like cold hat yeah paint Easily i'm gonna look at what the it. french painter hat is i forget called. what it's called anyone in chat what's that called what's this hat called i can't remember i'm looking it up a beret beret that's what it is totally got it just as you said it joe oh <laughs> he just beat you to it okay good job all right Julie. where do you where do you put this one i put that at number one right now just because it was posted in response to the help the fake help the okay fake birds like okay. the and i mean i still think this one's better but okay <laughs> if you want to put that one at this your red review i i think that the your photoshop has done better on that but the context just makes this one so much better so. yeah i'll i'll give you that okay parte Par party. Oh, that's nice. That's that's nice. <laughs> They're having a little party on a flower. I still can't believe this is a full sub. You know, I'm still. I think that I'm just lost for words <laughs> right now. I just don't know quite what to say to these images. Yep. <laughs> it's it's a petal party. Is that pedal party? <laughs> is that what they call these things? <laughs> All right, where do you want to put this one, Joe? Where's this going? The think ranking that goes beneath the chain of bees. Okay, yeah, I agree. All right, and a steampunker. Okay, that <laughs> is very cool. I think this one, t- to me personally, this one's the best. I would put it because in. it fits would... so well with the bees' color. <laughs> What has this live stream turned into? 
<laughs> we're talking about how well a top hat color fits the beat. <laughs> what? What are we doing? This was a viewer recommended subreddit, people. <laughs> if you guys have viewer recommended subreddits, please submit them to our subreddit or to the Discord. <laughs> and I will gladly review those over bees and top hats. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. <laughs> um Wow. Okay, well, with that, let's uh let's go back and review. I think yeah, that goes number one for me. So. Yeah, number one, alright. So, in last place, we have Pixelated Bird Bee eaty Eaters. <laughs> in fourth place, we got the Bee Petal Party. <laughs> in third place, we have the Bee Chain. In second place, we have the Solution to the Pixelated Bird... <laughs> Fedora's Bird. Fedora Bird in Top Hat Bee Solution. That was really convoluted sentence and the number one best looking bee in the house with his own very petal and flower to sit upon the steampunk bee the steampunker bee the steam steampunker bee and look, number that one photoshop is done very well like, it is it's a very well done photoshop yep i i commend that i've been doing a lot in photoshop lately also did you notice the rules for this subreddit no, I didn't even look at the rules. Look at the side and click the down arrow. Real bees, fake top hats. Is that the only thing? It's not a real bee wearing a photoshopped top hat. It doesn't belong here. <laughs> That's the only rule. That's the only rule? So, what about a person in a bee costume wearing a top, a fake top hat? <laughs> We found a loophole, folks. Uh, hey, Joe, is your favorite animal a bee? Crazy's wondering. No, I hate bees. In fact, the first Joe time Joe loved I reviewing this, this subreddit, I bet. It kind of irked me the first time I went through this. <laughs> then I was like, I'll give in to biggies. Well, those, those were your Reddit reviews of the week. Okay. Oh, by the way, responding to everyone okay. saying do 50-50... But we're not 50 doing, 50 we're not doing 50 50. i have not seen that subreddit you don't want to see that subreddit you will be scarred for i'm life. assuming it's like the uh you take a chance at what you're it, gonna see it's roulette that, it, you yeah. get there there are two options it can be one of the two things and usually one thing's good or one thing's bad and yeah it's you'll be scarred for life you you don't want to review that one all right well that's we're, we're actually we're, we're a little early at finishing up the show here but it is that time, and typically with announcements, I go over anyway. So I might as well just get all those out there and let you know what's going on. So uh, be sure to go check out the YouTube channel because we've got a lot of content on there. Two, two, two Minecraft episodes. Uh, we'll have three by next week. And ch uh, make sure to look at my vlog coming out this week. It's going to be about our room transformation and getting everything into place. We have Mark, the specialist, uh, known as Lubert the Great in chat. Magic Mark. Magic Mark, uh, who helped us out. So you get to see him on there. And I put a lot of work into it. I hope you guys, I hope you guys like it. So I gotta go work on that tonight yet. Oh goodness. Oh, Mark, you don't even know the half of it. <laughs> Just you wait, my friend. Um... <laughs> Again, Joe, do you have any announcements for us at Other all? Other than the subreddit's up. Oh, boy. Any announcements Other than at the all? subreddit's up, post whatever you want. Uh, not whatever you want. There are obviously <laughs> some restrictions. We don't have any rules yet, do we? we I, don't, I think I might have created rules. I think I made rules for it. Okay. So, well, go yeah. check out the subreddit. Anything within the bounds of those rules that I put on there. And, and Joe, what do you want to say from that screen? Far from manatee, 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 you're the one for me, one for me, one for me. <laughs> no, but you really want to say happy Valentine's Day, right? Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Oh, yeah, happy Valentine's Day. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hey, you, everyone in the chat should buy chocolate for me tomorrow. There you go. Look at that. Quick promo. <laughs> <laughs> so Joe's selling everyone. chocolate at school. Be sure to pick some up. Or, if uh, if anyone school. wants some in chat and you're in Wisconsin, let us know. We'll, we'll we'll get some for you. I can probably hook you up. We can probably hook, we can probably hook you up. For the, the, the 
the low low price of oh it, i'm not on that screen anymore what yeah oh. of what 150 uh, yeah dollar piece? 50 a piece Sarugis. no subreddit for mobile what are you talking about no subreddit for mobile <laughs> anyways the subreddit should exist on mobile um any other announcements i think that's basically it right right yes all yeah. right let's uh let's close up the show joe like i said be sure to check out the youtube channel be sure to check out uh the episodes we're putting up over there the gaming episodes follow on here if you have not already that way you'll be notified when we go live and that concludes this episode of the, the basement brothers, brothers. Thanks, guys.